Hey everyone, welcome back to Sawyer Studios, and I'm finally starting Mock Mondays up again. Sorry about last week, it's just the auditions and everything. It was literally like I was working from like 11 to 10 o'clock sometimes. Like it was just like absolutely insane week and this still pretty insane. It's just a lot, um, but I've, I've been score studying and all that stuff. I've just been trying to make so many things work, but I'm about to head home from the office to start on the mock. And if you haven't checked out my mock announcement video, uh, I am making a Lego Star Wars mock for the episode Ambush because I haven't done the pilot episode of the Clone Wars yet. And I was like, I feel like we should because it's a good place to start. Yeah. Um, I also probably should make a mock for from the movie, The Clone Wars. I haven't actually thought about that yet. But anyway, we're going to go home, make a mock for Ambush. I need to drop some plans, like always. This is going to be a classic week one uh, Lego Star Wars mock update. Um, we're going to do some planning, go lay some groundwork foundation, of course. Am I using base plates? Am I not using base plates? I think I am going to use base plates and then figure out how big do, you th how big do I think I can make it, what's feasible. We're going to figure all that out. Uh, and so let's head home. Let's start building. So I think for this uh, mock particularly, I think I only need one base plate. And what I'm gonna do is sort of that uh, canyon part where Yoda's fighting everyone. So I wanna have a sort of like something on this side, something on this side. Uh, I want there obviously to be like terraces, like layers. So like you have the first floor um, and I'll look up the episode in a moment, but this is what I remember from the episode, like rocks, rocks, these are supposed to be rocks. Um, and then, you know, you have like, I don't know, maybe a level right here. And then maybe here will be the cave area or somewhere will be the cave area where they uh, like had their fire and stayed the night. And then you had like, you just had like these really long, weird, like pieces that outcropped everywhere. And then maybe some trees up here or some, they weren't really trees, they were like weird purple coral things. And then pretty much the same on this side. Um, yeah, essentially the same thing on this side with like the terrace stuff and then, you know, the outcrop rocks. So that's what I'm going for. That obviously is going to be a lot of work filling up this base plate. So I'm going to need a lot of tan pieces. I Luckily, I think I have enough tan and brown pieces from just stuff. <laughs> so I don't think that would be a problem per se. I don't know. I, I think this is very, very much doable. I just don't know where I'm going to start. So... I don't know where to start. I guess let's get all the pieces, 10 pieces I have, and let's see what we got. Alright, 
so this is all of the not all of them but most of the tan stuff i mean i do have stuff like two full drawers of brown uh pieces that i can use for this mock i'm just trying to get an idea of what i can use um and then it has to fill up this base plate so i'm not entirely sure <sighs> I have some doubts that I'll have enough pieces, but I think we can make it work uh, with the use of some great pieces for stone and other stuff like that. We're watching um, Dr. Stone right now with uh, Jinxer and Dean Machine. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we'll have enough. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just use some great pieces as well for rock. And then that would be good. And then we can use other stuff. And yeah, okay, this is all coming together. So... That's the plan. Uh, I think I need to make an outline of where I want it to be. And then we can start figuring out how to build it up. I want to use like these pieces here to like build up. So uh, that's what, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I need to move this out of the way because this is just going to cloud my uh, clutter my workspace and I can't have that so I actually good. decided to continue to organize this bin of Lego <laughs> instead of work on the mock and then I also watched Dr. Stone with uh, same people um but anyway I, I did get through I don't know I, I think this is from from the beginning of the semester this is probably a quarter of what was initially in here I think probably there was Lego like up to here and then throughout this night, I think I actually put a decent dent in this. I think maybe there's, I don't know. I think I got through 40% of this, honestly. So, I mean, the fact is I can see the bottom of the bin and the Lego doesn't, Lego doesn't cover up everything. So that's a good sign. I can see an end in sight. So I'm just going to keep working at this, about this uh, four day week or three day, three day week, four day week. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so just gotta organize some more Lego, continue with the mock, and that'll be it. I need to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Yeah, see you in, uh, well, see you in a couple seconds. Uh, I have to wait the entire night, so there we go. All right, and so this is uh, what I'm thinking of for the first level. So I have all my base plates planned out. Um, I have some of the structure here, obviously super hollow, uh, hollow, I mean. I don't want it to be too heavy. Uh, and then I'm gonna use three base plates up here as well. So sort of like that terraced um, stuff we we're talking about. Uh, and then I'm just gonna fill in the open canyon space, which is gonna be right here with other tan stuff other tan bricks and some gray bricks. So there's gonna be some rocks and stuff. Uh, I do wanna make that cave area probably on this side, probably have a cave and then like the little fireplace and stuff, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then here, yeah, so this is the, uh, gosh, oh, stop it. I honestly, actually, no, I don't wanna get into that right now. Anyway, this is the scene I wanna recreate. Uh, with the AAT, the droids around it, like, there. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's going to be enough space. Shoot, am I going to have to do two base plates now that I'm looking at this? I don't know. Let me grab my AAT. Super let's... dusty AAT. But um, if I uh, move this crap out of the way... Freaking guns and there we are. Um, if I have this here, uh, wow, that barely fits. Okay, maybe, maybe I don't widen it this way. Maybe I widen it that way. Um, let's see what base plates I have. Um, because I don't need a whole another one of these. Can I do like a one of these things, maybe? Maybe, potentially, uh, and then I'll crop it like right here. Maybe connect those. 
and then maybe just continue the cliff here this way so that it looks like there's an opening it looks like it kind of closes up because i think yoda is technically trapped in this scene if we skip ahead a little bit like i think um when he pulls out his lightsaber yeah yeah see there's like nothing i think like he's at the end of the canyon all right yeah yeah there's like nothing behind him so i think actually we're gonna have to make a wall here anyway so to make it look like it's closing in probably loop this around and then widen this out so that we have an AAT right there and a little crap ton of droids <laughs> we have yoda i do want to make this wall probably um what's the word like easily able to take out so that i can get a camera shot from here because if not that would kind of suck uh honestly so i think i want to be able to make this wall attachable and just easily accessible to this camera angle trying to think ahead for stuff also don't know might make a stop motion video of that scene using this mock so i'm thinking maybe every time i make a mock i'll make a stop motion to go with it i think that would be kind of cool i kind of wish i thought of that before i did seven other mocks but i think it's fine um uh yeah so that's the plan <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm gonna have enough pieces to go around here to hide like the inner workings of that but i, I think definitely we'll have oh i might have to gosh this is difficult um it's a pretty open clearing like there's not a lot of rocks honestly there'll probably be a few pebbles here and there um and yeah so if we build up another level uh sort of make the canyon go out this way yeah man i don't know um don't, and i want this to be like i want this to be perfectly terrace symmetrical like i want there to be like levels here that are not here i guess i'll start on this side and see where we go not sure maybe build up some rocks along the edge here trying to think of like a curved line idea probably would honestly curve in here go around this way and then curve out that way a little bit is what i'm thinking uh and then uh yeah i don't really know how i'm gonna do that i have a good amount of these i guess like slanted pieces that i can use for rocks but the main the majority of it is just gonna have to be I think some background bricks with some greebling detailing more so. So I guess let's just start building some of these areas and see where we go and see where it leads. And let's use some bricks. This is what I'm kind of thinking for the wall support. As you can see, there are red pieces, but so when, wherever there are red and or potentially black pieces, those are the areas where is it's not going to be seen like in the mock. The gray, however, I want to be a specific backdrop. So what I'm thinking is that as we curve the wall around this way, we'll also curve it down this way. So we have the back wall. I think we just build like rocks here, like, and we'll just have a flat back wall for it, but we'll still have that we can like manipulate the curve of the wall with the rocks. Uh, and so I, I think this pretty much saves us from having to build anything. So I think I'm just gonna do this for this side too, and for back there maybe, along like, except closer to this area. I think I'm just gonna do that for the entire thing. Um, and we'll see how that goes. And let's see how, if I tweak anything, uh, I, and this is obviously where these pieces are going to end up going, is just on top, like such. So that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get lights in here, so I'm definitely gonna to need to like bring over where are they both of my lamps have the lights shining in both directions for this mock shoot. I'm already seeing like there's gonna be lots of shadows, uh, shadow problems, but that's the idea. I'm just gonna keep building and doing that, and yeah. So, let's so by going. the way, if you haven't watched Doctor Stone, 
really good anime really good anime anyway continuing on this is what i have so far i as i said i wanted this area to be able to open up easily for pictures videoing etc so i've made this right here which very obviously is super flimsy but what i think i'm gonna do is have this back wall be able to open up and oh gosh well that just happened um i okay this isn't really that flimsy uh and then i'm going to uh make like a singular tall like something like this that's just gonna sit in here and that can come out easily and then we'll open this up. So yeah, that's it. And then this will give a perfect viewpoint into the battle at that level. So that's the idea. That's what I was getting at. Um, yeah, uh, that actually was harder to figure out than I expected. But this is the wall on the other side. And as you can see, we're moving the wall along that direction. And so the sort of like path I'm thinking is circular this way because the edge of a cannon is like there's like that circular clearing because that's where the water stops with erosion so it makes sense uh and then it's going to get a little narrow in here go out this way and then you'll have the tank back there and you'll have a bunch of droids and stuff so I think this is a good plan um and honestly, we'll have to just fill in with rocks and stuff. But I think that's going to be honestly an easy part. And so I'm really, really excited for how this is going to, um, how this is going to work. All right. And so that's where I'm going to leave it for now. This is week one. I uh, didn't have a lot of time this month. Actually, this entire month of September, if I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be very busy because I have not a lot of rehearsals left before the first week of concerts. Uh, which is earlier than usual and it's like three concerts plus a dress rehearsal in one week and then right after that we have another several rehearsals and uh, concerts for CUSO which I'm assistant conducting of literally the week after and that's my September it's just going to be busy 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 Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. so it's just going to be a lot of work. I'm going to be very exhausted. And so I'm, but I'm going to keep pushing out some content. Um, I think last week I was able to push out three videos. So hopefully stick with that three videos. I used to just be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for Story Studios. And then bonus weekend videos sometimes. So I might just, just to ease my mind and not put unrealistic expectations uh, into my head. I think I'm just going to stick to Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads. Uh, I think that would be consistent enough. That would be better than last year. I think last year's in fall semester only did like 10, a total of 10 videos, honestly, which was not good at all for the entire semester. But that's week one, Monday mock, uh, or mock Mondays or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's, this is ambush. We figured out the frame structure. We're figuring out the plan, how we're going to make those walls, uh, and I think it's going to look really flipping awesome by the end of it. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Click the bell icon, all that stuff. Sorry, Studio. See you on the next video. Peace out.